On the Baldwin County beat tonight, a bobcat sighting has caused some excitement and perhaps a little apprehension in a Gulf Shores neighborhood. News 5's Pat Peterson talked to one homeowner who says her pets were the first to see the big cat. Fonda Thomas's dog saw something unusual in the woods behind her house this morning. The barking woke up Fonda's husband. What's wrong? And he said, there's a cat out here. Who then woke up Fonda. But what kind of cat was it? Fonda grabbed her camera. So I took a few pictures through the window, and then I realized it was a bobcat. Fonda was able to grab a few shots of the bobcat, which was sitting on the other side of her fence. It was a really pretty cat. But the intrigue turned to worry. Oh, my goodness, uh, what if my dogs had been outside? It's possible the cat could have gotten my little dog because she's very curious. Um, so I will be watching. Fonda, who lives in the Gulf Shore subdivision close to Oyster Bay, knows there are critters in the woods behind her property. He was sitting right here. But she's never seen a bobcat before. They're not uncommon, but it's uncommon for people to see them because most of the time they move around at night. Gulf State Park naturalist Kelly Reitz says bobcats are not a threat to people. They don't really like to be cornered or trapped. Um, but for the most part, a bobcat's not going to jump out and get you. They're not very aggressive like that. They prefer to eat rodents and rabbits, um, small mammals. Bobcats live in the state park, but they are elusive. At least one of them lives in the woods behind Fonda's house. And he's probably out there watching us somewhere. <laughs> and for Fonda, that's a little unnerving. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. Bobcats are common across Alabama and most of North America. They are solitary animals and typically are only seen in groups during mating season.